Hi guys, this is Divyansh Mehta and in this video we'll be talking about the various types of ice detection devices used in aircraft. The first type of device is called the Teddington Ice Detector. This detector consists of an airfoil shaped mass protruding into the airflow and visible from the cockpit. So this is how the ice detector looks like. The airflow is parallel to this detector and this detector is placed right between the first officer and the captain and it's on the outside of the cockpit. So what happens exactly is that when the aircraft moves, the uh, snowflakes or snow particles get adhered to the surface over here, so which is visible to the uh, pilots. And uh, when icing conditions are encountered in flight with the heater power supply off, ice accumulates on the mast as I told you, and it's a direct visual indication of ice secretion. Now it also has a heater element over here, and the heater element may be switched on to dissipate the accumulated ice. Right, so that's very simple. So this is how the visual ice indicator looks like. It's in the middle between the captain and the first officer. Right. The second type of ice detector is called the Smith's ice detector. Now this basically you can think of it as a tube with four holes on the leading edge and two holes on the trailing edge. Now always remember that leading edge is the edge which is which goes into the wind. So basically the airflow over here will be something like this. Right. So this thing over here measures the pressure difference between the four holes, the air that goes into the four holes and the air that comes out of the holes. The pressure differential is measured and let's say if ice accumulation or snow accumulation has occurred over these holes, the pressure differential will change. So that is how an alarm is triggered in the cockpit. So as you can see over here, the Smith's ice detector consists of a hollow tube attached to the aircraft by one end and has holes drilled in the leading and trailing faces. There are four holes in the leading edge and the two holes in the trailing edge as I have already told. In icing conditions, the leading edge holes become blocked by ice and a negative pressure is created in the hollow tube, causing the relay unit to give a warning. A heater element is fitted around the tube to dissipate accumulated ice. Now always remember the heating element is always used to remove the ice. The third type of detector is called the rotary ice detector. Now this is a bit more complex than the previous two. So the assembly over here you can see a motor which is connected to a shaft and the shaft is made up of knife edges. The uh, clearance between the knife edge and this black part you see over here is less than 0 0.002 inches. So the principle of working over here is that when the snow gets accumulated on the uh, knife edges, the torque which is required to rotate this shaft increases. So the uh, motor tends to uh, rotate in an opposite direction. Now there is a limit to which the motor can rotate. So at a particular point it uh, operates a micro switch which gives an ice warning or automatically initiates the anti-icing sequence. Right? The warning remains as long as the ice continues to foul the cutter plate. And now also here you can find a heating element as usual. And so you can read it over here. It says that the unit is mounted on the aircraft fuselage with the rotor axis at right angles to the relative airflow. So in this part, the airflow comes from here, right? The airflow is coming from here and only this part is uh, outside the fuselage. All this is inside the fuselage. Under normal conditions, a little torque is required to drive the motor. But in icing conditions, ice, condi ice builds up on the rotor and is shaved off by the cutter. This requires a greater rotational torque and causes the motor to rotate slightly in its flexible mountings. Right? So, and hence it, uh, it then operates a micro switch which gives a warning to the pilot that ice secretion has taken place. The fourth type of detector is called the rose mount ice detector. And this is, has a very simple working. It consists of a vibrating rod that vibrates at around 35 kilohertz. Now the closest analogy to this can be that when you are using a skipping rope, if you increase the mass of the skipping rope, the frequency of your skipping reduces, right? The same principle is used over here. When snow is deposited on this rod, the frequency of vibration is reduced, which is detected by this frequency sensitive circuit over here and which in turn uh, triggers a warning to the cockpit. Guys, if you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel along with pressing the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming videos.